When you make videos that feature cigar reviews, it becomes tough to make each and every video unique. It's very easy to fall into the trap of creating a plethora of cigar reviews that sound cookie cutter. However, every now and again, a cigar hits you with a very strong profile that makes doing a cigar review video extremely easy. Such is the case with today's cigar. We're gonna meet you in the dungeon. We doing a San Crystal Ball Classico. Get your drink. Get your stick. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Once again, it's your boy Q Morgan in the building. This is blowing a budget. Here we have like those budget-friendly cigars, as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. That automatically enters you into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month I pick out a couple of sticks, print up a couple of shirts, send those directly to your house. I'm excited to bring you something from the Ashton Cigar Company. This is the San Cristobal Classico. Let's get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends to Blowing a Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as introduce our new smoker friends to this cigar lifestyle. I'm blowing on something nice from the Ashton Cigar Company. This is the San Cristobal Classico. Looking at the construction on this, this is a nice, deep, dark chocolate. Look at that wrapper. Little bit of toothing on the head. And of course, the parrot. Nice chocolate. A little bit of an oily sheen, some light veining. Definitely a good smoke. I've done this one before, so I wanted to go ahead and get a review in while I had one more to do. Got a peppery cream on the retro hail. You're looking at a Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper. And of course, there's a Nicaraguan binder as well as a Nicaraguan filler. Came in a 550 Robusto. This is an $8 stick, y'all. Definitely budget friendly, won't break the bank. But definitely, look at the veining. A little bit of toothiness. Toothy means those little white bumps on there. That's not fungus. That's not mold. That's actually just, uh, I guess, some growth happening on the leaf. So you've been out in, in the woods before and you've seen this little bumpiness, little mosquito bite looking. But definitely a little bit veiny. Nice chocolate wrapper. Good smoke. Now the San Cristobal is rolled for the Ashton Cigar Company by none other than Mr. Don Pepin himself, Jose Garcia, who seems to be at the epicenter of many great cigars in the marketplace today. Now we're just getting into the introduction. That first third, we got a little creaminess, pepper on your retro hail. And of course right now we're getting introduced to a little bit of leather. So this is a nice, uh, flavorful little cigar pack with a lot of flavor and strength. So definitely one to enjoy and one to try. Look at that wrapper, San Crystal Ball. All right, y'all, we getting real nice and deep into the first third. Got a little uneven burn, but that's all right. The ash is holding firm. It's a nice white gray color. Uh, this is a spicy 
a uh, little cigar, but not spicy in the sense of, I guess, heat or caliente. Please excuse the bloodshot eyes. I'm just getting off work. Wanted to get a video in with y'all because I kind of missed the Christmas rush or the Christmas Eve video. So I kind of took a break for the holiday, but wanted to get a video in for y'all. So yeah, just forgive the red eyes. Eyes tied, boss. Well, y'all, we lost the ash. We're getting down to half. Got a little coffee espresso on the halfway point. A little chocolate flavor. The pepper at the beginning is kind of subdued, kind of chilled out. But it definitely is a light tinge of some sort. And that's probably that special dime pepper and spice. Now there are two distinctive kinds of spicy cigars. You got your aromatics. Those are cigars that kind of have that old world spice uh, flavor to it, kind of like clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, those type of uh, baking spices. Then you have those uh, peppery spices, which are more of a jalapeno, uh, a cayenne or a chili pepper, and those fall under the pungent category. Listen to me now. I'm thoroughly enjoying this San Cristobal. It's classified as a full flavored cigar, but of course it is flavorful and full of punch but not so much punch that you are nauseated or you get that funny sensation in the back of your throat. I mean, all the flavors are very distinctive. So um, we started out with uh, like a creamy pepper on the retro hell. That first third cave gave us a little bit of leather. Halfway in. Where we at now, we're getting through a little bit of coffee, kind of roasted nut flavor. This is definitely a decent smoke. So, San Cristobal by Ashton. Definitely one to try. I say retro hell, and I talk about it in every video. We puff the stick, we don't inhale. You're gonna Hold some of the smoke in your mouth until you get a sensation on your cheeks and your tongue. Once you have that sensation, you can release some of the smoke, holding the last portion so that can be released through your nose. With some practice, you'll be able to identify distinctive flavors in whatever you're smoking. Here's a demonstration. And that's where you pick up that signature Dom Pepin spice. Not too spicy, not too hot. More of like a, a baking spice. That uh, aromatic spice. This is definitely a smooth smoke. To be honest with you, I've been at it for about an hour and a half. But of course I had to relight it because I had to take a phone call. So of course the uh, magic of editing has this at a nice pace, but I've been at it for a little while. And it's, it's a really slow burning stick. Um, I'm picking up, like I said, roasted coffee right now, a little chocolate uh, tone uh, on the back of my throat. Really, really, really nice. Flip it. 
Well, y'all, we're coming into that last third. Actually, finishing off half, coming into the last third. But we're going to still enjoy this stick. And definitely, whatever you're doing in this cigar lifestyle, make sure you keep it smoking. And as we approach the end of the year, I hope that you are full of contemplation, reflection, and optimism for what this new year will bring us. So I want to thank you for watching Blowing the Budget. So as always, it's your boy Q Morgan in the building. Peace out.